example one. Okay, antimony. Antimony is found sometimes as a sulfide ore. In other words, it, it's antimony sulfide as opposed to just pure antimony. We have to find a way to pull out the antimony, separate it from the sulfur. Okay, and it is Sb2S3. Now, pure antimony, antimony is recovered, is recovered by reducing the antimony ion in this ore to pure antimony metal with iron metal. We use iron to reduce it. Iron gets oxidized and it becomes iron sulfide. Well, here's the reaction. Sb2S3 plus three moles of iron atoms produces two moles of pure antimony metal plus iron two sulfide, FES. Let's erase some of these random lines here, plus FES. And the delta, oh, this is driving me crazy. And the delta H for this is negative 125 kilojoules. So this is an exothermic reaction. As written, it releases heat the system. It's exothermic. Okay. So we want you to calculate, just a little bit of practice, getting used to using the equation. Calculate delta S of the surroundings at 25 degrees Celsius. Well, okay. We know what delta S of surroundings is. Delta S of our surroundings is equal to negative delta H divided by T is equal to negative, negative 125 kilojoules divided by 25 degrees Celsius, absolute temperature, meaning in Kelvin, so 298K. Excuse me. We end up with 0 0.419 kilojoules per Kelvin, or the more standard unit of entropy is joules per Kelvin. 419 joules per Kelvin. There you go. So this is, that's what we wanted to sort of get to. Um, our first real equation dealing with entropy that we are actually able to quantify in terms of something we've dealt with before. So hopefully the discussion of the process that we actually got to made sense, but this is our first primary equation.